Cyclone Ilsa continues to intensify off the coast of Australia. While it's been an incredible journey for Ilsa so far, as of right now, 17.9 degrees south, 118.9 degrees east, just off the coast of the Australian uh, coastline with 130 mile an hour winds or 210 kilometer per hour winds and a central pressure of 942 millibars or 27.82 inches of mercury. Currently moving to the southwest at 7 miles an hour, 11 kilometers an hour, expected to curve southeast. Wind fields of this system looking rather even, however the biggest quadrants are the northwest and northeast being 105 nautical miles, southeast being 100 nautical miles, southwest being 95 nautical miles. Cyclone warnings and watches are in effect right now for the warning area, the area south of Broome to Wim Creek, including Port Headland and extending inland as far as Panga, including Nalagin, Marble Bar and Telfer. A cyclone watch remains in effect for inland areas from Panga to Kirakura and southwest of Borgo. Apologies if I mispronounced any of those names right about there. This system it remains 167 miles away from Port Headland, 197 from 80 Mile Beach, 220 from Broome, 237 from Karatha, and 414 from Exmouth. That's 269 kilometers away from Port Headland, 317 from 80 Mile Beach, 354 from Broome, 381 from Karatha, and 666 from Exmouth. Once again, cyclone warnings and watches are in effect right about now. So once again, here's the latest cone from the Australian Bureau of Meteorology. Once again, as you can see, uh, you can see the visualization of those warnings and watches and the storm is expected to curve southeast as well. Sea surface temperatures are, well, more than favorable for this system. Uh, this system has just gone through a patch of extremely favorable conditions, I believe 31 degrees off the top of my head. Models believe that the storm is about to, to uh, peak prior to landfall and then it weaken extremely well from here on out. Uh, once again, shear is expected to be on a huge rise as soon as this system makes landfall. Sea surface temperatures don't really matter anymore. Mid-level relative humidity is also on the decline as well. So once again, here's the latest imagery for the system, courtesy of, well, the Force 13 website. You can go ahead and go onto the website to check out this imagery for yourself right about now. But once again, this system just doesn't want to quit. Uh, right again, looking very, very favorable on uh, satellite right about now.